Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So today, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I I have some things that I wanna do, but I don't know how I'm gonna film it or if it's going to be an interesting video. So first thing first, this, I wanna put this glass table in front of the window so I can put plants on top, you know, of the glass table. Like plants that need like direct sunlight. And then I wanna get my black shelves again and place them on this side of the wall not sure that makes any sense but the reason why i want to do this because i mean i already knew that these garage lights are really really good i have a few plants in there which i can show you guys right now the watermelon and pepperonia my brother just cutting and then he watered it and as you guys can see messy um <laughs> some succulent black raven's easy plant which is beyond gorgeous he got calentium begonia all of my precious plants yeah so that's what i'm gonna do a time lapse and then maybe on this video i can also clean up some plants because i do have some plants that are not doing so good well, they, they're doing okay, but they need like a little bit of a cleanup, you know, like removing the yellow leaves and the dead leaves because aesthetically it's not cute. And also, I mean, there's a lot of like dead foliage or, you know, well, yeah, dead foliage on your houseplants. It promotes pests and insects and that's not what you want. So, and yeah. As you guys can see, I already added all of the other plants. I made this into my little desk area. These plants are what I'm gonna do in a bit on like removing all the dead foliage or just giving them a good cleanup. So right on top, I have this beautiful Calenthia, my green spider plant. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put to the top. I'm still like finding out what I wanna put. And then on the second shelf, I have all of my precious babies that one, need, you know, therapy. <laughs> like they need like a boost. So a good source of light or they're like my rare plants. So I want them to like be super, super happy. So as you guys can see, this little sad succulent plant isn't doing so good. Hopefully with the grow lights, it can like bounce back up. I have these beautiful begonias. Philodendron micans, cuttings of my super blue, and then my Chinese money plants, and a few other plants. Third shelf, I have some other plants that I adore so much. My Prince of Orange, an orchid that needs a little bit of help. Beautiful bird's nest fern that, you know what, also need a cleanup, so let me go add it in this section. It does like, I keep forgetting. Pink stripe Calentia, which I love so, so much. A beautiful philodendron. That as you guys can see, it's putting out a new leaf. Super exciting. Majoncina. And at the very, very bottom, I have my golden potos because like it doesn't get a lot of light and obviously that's a plant that can tolerate a little light. So yeah, on the side, I got my pink syngonium, elephant's ear, I'm not that sure. And then a bird's nest fern, which is crisping up a little bit. So these are like the old growth from the apartments. But the new growth looks really, really good. So I think it's happy. Oh, and the desk. <laughs> so I have my curtains, which I always put them back up in the mornings and then I put them down the night so people won't see inside. It does look like aggressive, but it's not heavy. The plants can tolerate it. I have my dumb cane, two dumb canes over here as well. My uh, variegated umbrella plant, my jungle boogie philodendron, some cactuses, a succulent, a uh, pros and jade photos. And my beautiful black ZZ Raven plant, which I love so, so much. Ready? Let's start with the cleanup. Alrighty guys, so let's get into the plant maintenance. I don't know what you want to call it. So we're gonna start with my boyfriend's lemon lime marenta, which it is beautiful. As you guys can see, it is huge. He got it at, well, we got it at Home Depot for $17, $16.98, not including tax, but it's still a very good deal because like it's humongous. I'm not sure if you guys can see the plant. Um, it's not gonna be a good video, is it? Oh my God. Let's do it like that. I think that's good. Alrighty, so we're just gonna trim off the old flowers because it has already bloomed.
Alrighty, so I think that's pretty much it on this beautiful lemon amaranto. I cut off majority of all the flowers. There are some that look a little bit drier, but I feel like it's because like the humidity was a little bit low in the kitchen, which is kind of weird because it's really humid in there and super, super hot. But I ended up leaving some because I feel like this is a new bloom that's going to bloom. But yeah, I ended up cutting off the dead ones as you can, can see, which honestly, they look like bugs, so um, ew. <laughs> so let's get to the next lemon lime amaranto. Let's So I'm done with this one as well, as you guys can see, because it's getting, oh, I can't even see the clock anymore. But it's getting a little bit late already, so the lids are starting to like close up. Yeah, one of the quick things about Marantos and um, prayer plants and calentias, they ended up, majority of them, they close your leaves, as you guys can see, in the night, and they open up in the morning, which is super, super cute. Next one is this cute birds of paradise. I bought these at Walmart, and I bought this adorable cute little birds of paradise at Walmart and I started the clearance section um bird of paradise oh my god <laughs> bird's nest fern yeah it's called the bird's nest fern I got it for clearance it was for two dollars I was I felt so lucky and I bought another one well not another one but I bought it when I bought this one you guys, it's a little bit late, and I'm a little bit tired, so I'm sorry if my English is not really good. It's never really good. Also, like, when I film, I feel really, really nervous. I, like, get terrible anxiety. Like, I feel like I need to be on top of everything. Like, as in, like, making sure that it makes sense, if I'm saying the correct things, if I'm saying the correct plant name. Because, like, there's people that are watching my videos, and I don't want to sound dumb or embarrass myself, even though I do. And also, my mom and my brother are still like literally in the rooms and these walls are really really thin. They can hear every single little word that I'm saying right now. So it's a little bit like awkward, you know, a little bit, I don't know, not the best feeling in the world. But um, yeah, I still try my best to <laughs> speak clear because I know that I mumble a lot. I don't speak English really good. You guys can see it is a dumb cane. Now, as Gel. There's a lot of yellow leaves, and you guys, this plant I'm telling you right now. From the beginning, when I when I bought my first dunking, it was so, I, it was the worst experience ever with the plants. I it was just bad. It was like every single day I was losing like one leaf, and then it just came to the point that the entire plant died. And I ended up buying a second one because I was like. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a second shot and the foliage, as you guys can see, it is beyond beautiful. And I, I haven't killed it. I haven't killed it. I feel like my issue is with this um, plant, the dumb cane, or Diffenbachia. I don't know the listening terms, but I know this one's called a Diffenbachia. And I know I have a dumb cane, this is called a dumb cane. I think they're like the same terms. But it does not like to dry out. I don't know, I think that's the issue with me. Cause like, I don't really water my plants a lot. So like for me, there is no such thing of overwater because I never really water them. When I started collecting so many plants at this point, I just like push it to the side, which is not smart. It is not responsible. As you guys can see, I'm like, suffering the consequences. Not really suffering, but you know, I get what I get for not doing my job, which is like looking after my plants. This was in a really, really small pot, six inch pot, and it was really root bound. So that's why it was getting like dry really, really fast. And honestly, I'm probably gonna propagate this one the snow white marble queen photos i believe that's what you call it i do know it is a photos i'm not sure if it's called the white or snow or frosted marble queen photos again i am not a plant expert you guys like i'm really really not i just love plants a lot a big girl a beautiful big girl Alrighty, so the next one it is my Cebu Blue. She is super cute. She is honestly, she's going to be three years old. Yeah, she's about to hit three years, like being with me. I've done so many propagations with this plant, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> I've got so much foliage on it. And that's pretty much it for this. Cebu blue. Alrighty, so the last plant is my beautiful Calentia. As you guys can see, there is a lot of 
dead foliage. <laughs> I ended up removing a lot of dead foliage so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please let me know by giving a big thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one bye